from Cauliflower Collective. And we are super excited to bring our mission to you guys via um, social media and the internet. Um, we, our heart is to see you guys get trained up in self-defense and jujitsu, and also to use the Choose Aloha Champions uh, program to help you guys um, just connect more and have fun with jujitsu. Hey you guys, and I'm Bruno. I'm going to be your instructor at the YNI facility. Sorry I can't be there right now, but we're going to have to do our best with the camera. So I'm excited to teach you guys some workouts, some self-defense, and uh, go over this curriculum for the Choose Aloha. So I'll see you there. So today we are going to review, I know Auntie Dawn has been talking to you guys about Choose Aloha and all the awesome pillars that make up Choose Aloha. And today we're going to review more on courage. We know right now with what's going on in the world, there are some incredible humans in our houses, in our neighborhoods, in our community and globally who are just being so courageous um, by going out and being the essential workers that we need to keep people safe and to keep those who are sick um, taken well care of. So we know that there's just tons of examples right now, right where we are uh, with courage. So yeah, that's a good one. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, what I think is a great example of courage, not related to the quarantine, but something maybe you guys might identify with. So uh, first day of school, you come to school, you know, you don't know anybody. It takes a lot of courage to introduce yourself to somebody. It takes a lot of courage to try something new. It takes a lot of courage to get out of your comfort zone. So um, that's something that you guys can always fall back on. If you ever feel like you're scared or you're nervous, you can always reach inside that cookie jar of memory and you know remind yourself, look, man, I was courageous and I did this, so there's no reason I can't do something else. Awesome. So an activity that we're going to practice now and teach you guys is called um, the Kindness Volcano. And I think that right now, um, especially with what's going on in the world, being kind is another example of being courageous. So sometimes even when people aren't kind to us, we can always choose to be kind. So we're going to um, get up and do this activity together. Okay, guys. You guys ready for this exercise? This is the Volcano of Kindness. So the idea behind this exercise is you're gonna think about a lot of good, positive emotions, okay? It's easy for you to get bottled up and think about bad things, so think of this as filtering your mind and only thinking about good things. So this Volcano of Kindness goes like this. You're gonna imagine yourself as a volcano, okay? So do this with me. Put your hands out to the side, Start shaking your body, shaking the arms, your elbows, your shoulder, your hips, your head even, okay? And now start thinking about something good, okay? And we're gonna project this good, this good energy to the family, okay? So everybody in your house. So we're gonna think about good thing to project to your family. I think about health and happiness and, and fun and love. Okay, so on the count of three, we're gonna bring our hands together. One, two, three. You're gonna squeeze your whole body, squeeze all the muscles in your legs, in your shoulders, in your arms. And on the exhale, spread all that good energy out to your family, all the way out. Nice. Bring your hands together. We're gonna do it again, this time. You're going to project your good feelings to your neighborhood, okay? Keep squeezing those muscles. One, two, three, inhale, exhale. Out to everybody in your neighborhood. Maybe a different thought, maybe the same thought. Last time, hands together, squeeze, because a volcano doesn't erupt once, tons of times. Last time, you're going to project it out to your whole community, all right? It could be the same thought or something different. Maybe safety, okay? Maybe more fun. You want more fun with your friends? Ready? On a count of three. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale. Nice. 
So you can do this at home. You can do this on your own. Okay? Let's keep our mind with clean, positive thoughts. See you around.